G'day folks and welcome back to Bex Basics. So today we're talking about separating seedlings. Now if you're growing your vegetables from seed, then most of the time when your seeds germinate and emerge, the seedlings will be close together. You'll have a number of seeds coming out of the same um, hole that you've planted them in or very close together in uh, either your seed raising mix in your trays or in the garden. Now if you're growing seed in trays to plant transplant into the garden then it's very easy to separate those seedlings um, before you plant them and to get the spacing right um, and I'll put in the comments uh, a link to the video that we did on how to separate those seedlings without damaging the roots. But if you've planted your seed directly into the garden it's a little bit trickier because really the trick is to make sure that you don't damage the roots of the plants you're leaving behind. It's important to make sure that plants are appropriately spaced because if they're too close together, especially if you've got them really close together in the same hole or very, like right next to each other, then what will happen is that the plants will actually compete for um, nutrients and for moisture and you'll end up with, instead of one you know, really healthy, abundant uh, plant, you'll end up with two or three scrawny little plants that really won't do much. So you really need to make sure that the, your seedlings are separated and that the plants are the appropriate distance apart. So today I'm going to show you how to separate them or to to deal with seedlings if you've got them planted directly into the into the garden and how to make sure you've only got one plant growing in the same hole. So here we have some tomato seedlings that have uh, grown from seed. And you can see that they're very, very close together. You know, I've got a number of plants here. There's five or six plants there together. And there's probably about seven or eight plants here together. But we only want one plant here. Um, you know, the problem with, with planting tomatoes, particularly if you're growing them from your own seed, is that the seeds stick together and you're likely to get, you know, a lot of tomatoes growing out of the same hole. But to get a really abundant and good tomato crop, we only really want one plant here. Now, if I was to go ahead and just start pulling those out, I would, uh, like pulling out the ones that I don't want, I'd end up with, uh, end up damaging the roots of the existing plant, uh, of the plant that I want to stay there and that would stunt its growth and it could even kill it. Um, so I don't want to do that. Now the other thing that's quite tempting is to try and pull these um, other seedlings out and to plant them elsewhere. Now you can do that and you may get some success but in my experience um, plants don't like to be transplanted if they've just been pulled out of the ground. Um, they often die or they'll take a long time to take root um, and then you'll, you know, you'll just be wasting time um, when it's actually quicker to just plant some more, some more seeds. So what we do here, rather than trying to pull these out because they're so close together, all you have to do is get a pair of scissors, a small pair of scissors here, and just actually snip off the plants that you don't want because they won't grow back. So all you just do is you just go ahead to the, to the plants there, being careful not to, to um, snip off all of the plants because you want to keep one of them, and just snip off the ones that you don't want. Generally, it's a good idea to keep the one that's the strongest so there's one here in the middle that's very strong. I'm going to keep that one. So you just go ahead around the outside and snip off the ones that you don't want. So that way, and there's another one just hiding over here. And so that way you end up with one nice big tomato plant. I'll do the, so all the, these ones are too close to this one as well. They need to be you know, about 30 centimetres apart. So I'm just going to chop all of those down because I just don't need them. And it seems like sacrilege to, to chop out plants that you've, um, that you've spent so long trying to grow. But in the end, you'll actually end up with a, a better crop by doing this. You really don't want to um, be letting too many grow because it, you'll actually um, be shooting yourself in the foot, really, because um, you won't get as good a growth out of the plants. You'll get a much better crop if you just have one good plant growing there. Now, let's have a look at some other ways of doing that. So here we have some carrot seedlings. Now carrots are a little bit different because they just grow directly down. With tomatoes, um, the seeds, uh, sorry, there's roots spread out. And so it's very easy to damage the roots. But with carrots, the, the roots just grow directly down, straight down into the soil. So you can actually go along and just pull those straight out. Now carrots, you want to be spaced um, at, least, oh, the, at least the width of a carrot apart. So probably, you know, 
a couple of inches apart is about how, how far apart you want your carrots to be so that they're not competing with each other for nutrients and also crowding each other out. The thing with carrots is that um, if you have too many close together, they'll just crowd each other out and they'll actually just um, grow smaller carrots. So you really want to thin those out. So we just go into the middle of the carrots here, we sort of look at the spacing, and we can just actually just very gently pull out the, uh, the ones that we don't need just very gently pull them straight out um, and they won't grow back because you're pulling the root out and so you can just go ahead and pull out the ones that you don't need just one at a time preferably because then you're not gathering a whole heap of roots and damaging the ones see how it's not really it's not moving when I'm doing this it's not moving the other plants so you can just go ahead and pull those out just very carefully pull those out like that And then we end up with just two carrot plants left over that are uh, you know the appropriate distance apart so we actually get you know two good sized carrots there and you can do that with a whole row now you can just leave what you've pulled out there it'll just compost back into the ground let's have a look at another way of doing it so here we have some silver beet plants and as you can see we've got two growing very closely together here now we really don't want them growing closer together because they will definitely stunt each other's growth we just want one plant here so that they grow and give us abundance of leaves now we could actually nip those off with the scissors like we did with the tomatoes um, but because they're very close together you can also just pinch them off and so it's a, it's a good way to do it if you're really concerned about um, being really accurate with this um, so what you can do is just choose the what you always choose the healthiest plant to keep okay so um, this one's looking pretty good that one's probably a little bit behind it um, but it looks a bit healthier a little looks a bit stronger so I'm going to pinch this one out so what you do is you just get the plant don't pull it just get it with your fingernails and just pinch it off just pinch off the leaves and that one there the stump of it won't grow back so that way you're left with one nice healthy plant and the other ones you want to be careful of and, and make sure you're sitting out well are melon plants now these are a couple of pumpkin plants that have grown and usually when you're planting uh, melons you're planting a couple of seeds in each hole to make sure that you at least get one to germinate but often you get two that come up so again you need to thin those out um, these are very prolific plants melons so you only want to make sure that you've got one um, growing out of each uh, little hole and that they're, set, they're uh, spaced really well so we need to go ahead and actually snip one of these off as well so just get our trusty scissors and just snip the snip one off again that won't grow back um, so we're left with just one nice healthy plant so there you have it I know it's heartbreaking to chop down or pull out plants that you've uh, spent a lot of time growing but it's really important to do that um, so that you get nice healthy plants that are that are properly spaced because if they're not properly spaced you won't get um, the crop you need you're not actually doing yourself any favors by keeping all those extra plants in um, you really need to make sure that seedlings are well spaced that you um, snip off um, any extra seedlings that are crowding out each other so that you get a better crop in the long run. Thanks for joining us on Beck's Basics and we'll see you next time.